So the next step is the field sequence. This is not actually done by us. So the field super will take our location ID set and they'll mark it up like they did this one here, Stanford Redwood City. They would highlight where, how big they want the pallets, um, how many units there should be on a pallet, what the pallet name is, and the pallet name kind of implies what order they go in. So it would be this pallet and then this pallet here, and then I would have to go look on other elevations possibly for 444 and on until I come back to this pallet. So this establishes a sequence of installation of all the units, this one, then this one, then this one, all the way across. And we use that, this information, to do the pallet schedule in Revit. That's it for this.